South Africa states that its applications concerns acts threatened, adopted, condoned, taken, and being taken by the government and military of Israel against the Palestinian people, a distinct national, racial, and ethnical group, in the wake of the attacks in Israel on 7 October 2023. South Africa contends that the acts and omissions by Israel of which it complains are genocidal in character because, I quote, they are intended to bring about the destruction of a substantial part of the Palestinian national, racial, and ethnical group, that being the part of the Palestinian group in the Gaza Strip, end of quote. South Africa asserts that the relevant acts are attributable to Israel, which has failed to prevent genocide and is committing genocide, and which has also violated and continues to violate other fundamental obligations under the Genocide Convention. The application places Israel's genocidal acts and omissions within the broader context of Israel's 75-year apartheid, 56-year occupation, and 16-year siege imposed on the Gaza Strip, a siege which itself has been described by the director of UNRWA affairs in Gaza as a silent killer. Of South Africa has recognized the ongoing Nakba of the Palestinian people through Israel's colonization since 1948, which has systematically and forcibly dispossessed, displaced, and fragmented the Palestinian people, deliberately denying them their internationally recognized inalienable right to self-determination and their internationally recognized right of return as refugees to their towns and villages in what is now the State of Israel. We are also particularly mindful of Israel's institutionalized regime of discriminatory laws, policies and practices designed and maintained to establish domination, subjecting the Palestinian people to apartheid on both sides of the Green Line. 